Good. Thank you, Zach. You too. All right, guys, go on the questions for co-defensive coordinator. Coach, just when, you, when did you hear about Manny and, and just the whole process of, you know, sort of being named the defensive coordinator, you could take us through that, what that was like for you? <clears throat> you know, obviously, you know, Manny interviewed and went up there, and, and if you know anything about Manny Diaz, if he's competing for something, he's usually going to win it. So um, when he went up there, before he knew anything, I, I had an idea, a good idea based on, you know, evidence in the past that he was going to win that job. So obviously your mind starts to run and think. Um, I've been fiercely loyal to Manny Diaz for a long time and his family. So it was obviously not an easy decision. A lot of people probably would be like, you're crazy. Why would you even think about it? Well, if you work for Manny Diaz, you would understand why you think about it. So, um, but at the end of the day, I saw it as an opportunity, as a challenge to challenge myself and step out of my comfort zone. Um, and that's why I decided, one of the reasons I decided to get this thing done. Obviously, the other reasons include, you know, this place. Um, these people, uh, the, all the players and all the recruiting ties and, and all the stuff that, all the relationships you've developed over the years. Um, if that wasn't right, then, then, I, then it would have been an easy decision to, walk, to, to go with Coach. Um, because I, I think he's, he's going to be the best head coach here in a few years in the country, guaranteed, 100%. I would not doubt one bit. So it wasn't easy. It was, it was a hard decision um, because, of, because of my faith and understanding of that person. But it was the right reason because I know it's still here. That all being said, the, the size of the shoes that he leaves behind. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I mean, you, yeah. you're, you've been a part of what's been built here. Yeah. But to carry on, you know, <clears throat> The legacy that he leaves in a short amount of time here. What, how daunting is that challenge? It's it's massive shoes. You know, Manny Diaz came to Miami and brought what Miami wanted deeply, and that was not about necessarily a four-three scheme. It was about a style of play. It was about an attitude that when people show up at Hard Rock Stadium, they knew exactly what they were going to see, and that's what they coveted and wanted dearly. And he brought that here. So to un so to answer your question no question huge shoes and definitely something you got to think about every single day but it's like what Manny Diaz said when he got here he told all those kids on one of his first meetings is when you put that jersey on at the University of Miami it's heavy it's not light it's not you know made out of paper there's some great people and pe people that have sat in their seats and put on those jerseys and put on this emblem as coach and it's not easy and it's never gonna be easy and obviously what he's done is made it even harder but my faith in the staff, my faith in these players, and my faith that he has got me to that point is what I'm going to lean on and know that I have confidence that we can get this done. How important will it be for you to put your stamp though, on something? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of things that he did yeah. that will work that you guys will carry over. But I, there's an individuality to this thing, too. How, how <clears throat> are you to start putting your stamp on things? This, this isn't about me. This is about our kids. This is about a style of play. This is about an attitude. This, that's what it's about. It's, and that's what people sometimes kind of lose in this whole deal. This is about us and Miami and about how our kids play. And our kids are going to play with the same intensity. Our kids are going to play with the same attitude. We're going to run the ball. We're going to tackle. We're going to hang our hat on the four tees. We're going to celebrate and be enthusiastic and have fun. So I, like I told the kids, the only thing that's going to change is who signals in the defense. And it's going to be from the help of Jonathan Packey and Jess Simpson and Mike Rump and every GA that we got, just like Coach Diaz did. He listens to every single person in the room. It's not about him, and he'll tell you the same thing. But, you know, to answer your question, I, a lot of people put your stamp. That's not what it is. It's about, it's about our kids. It's about others. So I know that's maybe not what you want to hear. It's not the flashy answer, but it is the truth. It's good answer. Well, I don't think it's not Coach Rick said uh, <laughs> his attitude was, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So no question. There, there, some pressure comes with that too. Yeah, no, no, no question. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You're right. And, uh, you know, to Coach Rick's credit, you know, he, he, he acted with conviction. You know, Coach Packy talked about that. He didn't hesitate. He didn't wait. He knew what he wanted. Um, so give the credit to Coach, you know, Coach Rick and, and to act quickly and, and know what he wants. So you're right. Obviously, it ain't broke. You, you don't want to fix it. And I'm not trying to hear you to break it. I know what works. I know, the, I know what the equation you know, I know what, what's in the equation equals success, and I got to make sure with, what's in that equation, me and Coach Packey, continues to be the right, you know, parts of that equation that equals success. And Coach, when you consider your journey and, and all the twists and turns that it's taken, how much did it mean to you when you got that opportunity and Mark said, I'd like you to stay and I'd like you to do it in this role? For it, you it, personally, what did that mean? For personally, you know, it, it's, a, it's, it's an amazing, rewarding feeling. Um, I've, I've worked hard in this profession. I feel like I've made the right decisions. I feel like I got in this profession for the right reasons. I feel like I followed the right people. 
You know, I've made people decisions, I've made situation decisions, I've never made money decisions. I could have taken other jobs in the past, but you know, it didn't matter. It was about the people in the right places. So, you know, for me, um, I really feel like it, it, it really gave me confidence to know that what I did in the past 10 years and made all those, all those choices is, is gotten me to this point and rewarded me for this opportunity. Now we gotta go out there and do it. Even though Couple Manny's here, do you, are you, you and Jonathan gonna work on uh, how you're gonna be co-defensive coordinators, calling in plays during the whole game? <laughs> no, this is completely 100% what Coach Diaz wants to do. And we are 100%, let me be clear, we are 100% on his side. Nothing's changing. When he comes back, I, I can't wait to take the side, you know, take that sideline in New York with Coach Diaz and running this thing. And we've been together so long, like it just, it's like riding a bike, you know, he came back and we all got back on our little scooter and our sides of the, you know, the, the big the bike and we just start pedaling. And uh, so for us, this is our opportunity to be together one more time. You know, God willing, we get to be together again sometime. Have you already laid out the framework of how being a co-defensive coordinator is gonna work? Yes, well, um, most of it, yes, absolutely. We've talked a lot. We've had deep in depth talks about those things and how it's gonna work. But for the most part, to answer your question, you know, I'll, I'll be the one that calls it, but Coach Packy is going to be literally, whatever I call, it's going to be with the blessing of Coach Packy and Jess Simpson and Mike Rump. We'll do this together because that is exactly what we've done to this point. Whatever Manny Diaz has wanted, we, he has asked and, 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 and taken input from every single person in the room. And from an, I know Last you, you can't speak Paul. about anybody specifically, but just your, your hopes and your expectations for tomorrow. What kind of day are you expecting this program to have? I'm expecting a lot of players to stick their flag in the ground and say, I want to be at Miami because I love Miami, because I want to make the crib great, because I believe in this place. I believe that what, what has been put on the field and built over the last three years defensively is real and tangible, and I want to be a part of that. So all, to all those young players out there that are, you know, light before Christmas, basically, and have butterflies in their stomach, understand that you're picking something that is real and tangible, that it's not changing, that everything you were committed to or thinking about committing to is still there and will be here on Green Tree when you walk here, whether it's in the spring or in the fall. Coach Bond, I know you have one more defensive coach hire to make. Is there one that you know you think maybe more specific than the other you'd like to hire? I, I, there's not one, say one person. Yeah, posi oh, position? Yeah. Uh, no, we're still talking about that. Yeah. Uh, but I will say this, whatever we decide to do, he will be a low ego person. He will be a high output person. He will, he will be a team guy. He will be someone that's willing to learn and that understands what he's coming into is what he has to learn. It's not, we obviously take all types of um, things, but the biggest thing we want is low ego, high, high Why output. You, start talking about or whatever you know, uh, that's for Coach Rick to decide. That's for his decision. That's he's the head coach. And whatever he wants us to do, we will act accordingly. Yeah, sure. It's actually, uh, it's Ephraim Banda. Ephraim Banda. Some people say Banda, which is fine. And even some people say Ephraim in Spanish is how you pronounce it. Uh, Ephraim, I've heard it, but the way that I pronounce it's Ephraim Banda. But you know, over the years I quit fighting that, so uh, it's okay. I'll answer to anything. So, I, I, what's that? That's big time. Zach McLeod is is a special human being. He's a team guy. I love that guy, and he likes to hit a lot of people at once. So, appreciate you guys. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.